In this problem, we want to solve for the matrix X and we're given the equation AX equals B. Um, so we want AX equals B. We want to find the matrix X and we can solve this using an inverse. What we really need to do is undo the multiplication by matrix A. We can't do that with matrix division because that doesn't exist, but what we can do instead is to multiply an inverse by matrix A, and that will end up with the identity in or the identity matrix. The identity matrix in this case is going to be a three by three, zero, one, zero, 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 one, and anything we multiply it by becomes the original value itself. Okay, so what we want to do, let me just erase that. So what we want to do, I'm just going to leave this one. We want to go ahead and multiply both sides by A inverse. And I'm going to let the calculator do the work here. So that's going to be AX equals A inverse B. These two become the identity matrix. So I get the identity matrix times X equals A inverse B, which leaves me with just the matrix X. So A inverse B. Let's go ahead and go on to the calculator. So I've got my calculator on here. Whoops, let me just clear this. I'm going to go ahead and put matrix A in. So second and then matrix. I'm going to edit and I'm going to grab a three by three matrix. So three by three. And I'll just put in my values. I'm going to let my calculator do all of these steps at once. So then three, one, zero, 11, two, and negative two. And I'm just going to check and make sure that I've got this correct. Seven, zero, negative three, three, one, zero, 11, two, negative two. Great. What I want to do is to have, there we go, my calculator do this, A inverse B. So I also need to put in matrix B. So I'm going to go back to my matrix menu, whoops, uh, matrix, and I want to put in a second matrix. This time I've got three rows and one column. So I'm going to change this matrix. Oops, is that matrix A? Let me go back and do this to matrix B. Don't change your matrix A. So I want to go back into matrix, edit. I want to edit matrix B. I'm going to keep A there. Okay, so I want this to be a three by one matrix. And I can go ahead and put these values in 300, 200, and 350. Remember, I want the calculator to compute what I've got there in my red box. And I'm going to just quit and go to the home screen. I'm going to do A inverse. So I want to grab my matrix name A. So matrix name A. I'm going to take that to the negative one. So I hit my X to the negative one button. And I'm going to hit my multiplication. And I want to multiply that inverse by matrix B. So second matrix, grab B. Enter. And this is our resulting matrix. So I've got 750, 2450, and negative 1850. We can check our answer by multiplying A by this matrix. So I'm going to go ahead and store this. I'm going to hit my store button. I'm going to store this into, I'm going to go ahead and grab a matrix name. So I'm going to store this into matrix C. Enter. So I should be able to multiply, let me go back to my notepad here. I should be able to multiply A times X, which I've called A times C, and end up with my matrix B. Okay, let's go ahead and double check our answer. So um, back into matrix. So this time I wanna just grab matrix A without the inverse. I'm gonna multiply that, whoops. I'm gonna multiply that by matrix C and notice that C is now that three by one. So I multiply that by matrix C and sure enough, I get the original matrix values. So my answer then is going to be negative 750, 2450, and negative 1850.